We've been talking about threats and the kind of things we might do to address them. We'll do this for any threatened species. We'll try and address those threats to try and help them. But then the next thing we need to do is to see if what we're doing is actually working. To find out, what we need to do is a population survey. We need to find out, are the numbers going up? Are they staying the same? Or are they still going down? And if we can, this is really difficult, it would be a great thing if we can get an idea of the overall numbers. Because if there's hundreds of thousands of a species and it's declining, it's not quite as scary as if there's like only a thousand or fewer and, and the numbers are still going down. It depends on the kind of plant and animal you're dealing with as to what kind of survey you do. So things like plants and animals that don't move very much, it's really easy. You can pretty much just go and count them. That is if they're easy to see. So if your species is just on one little area, that's kind of great. You can just literally go and count every single one. But it's more complicated if we're dealing with the kind of species like an eagle that is all over the state. It's pretty hard work to go and count every single eagle. So what we're going to do for the eagles, and this is what we did last year as well, is we ask people to go and sample. That means we only look in certain areas, but we try to do areas that represent all sorts of different kinds of habitat. So some parts of Tasmania or some particular habitats will be really good for eagles and some habitats won't be so good. And what we try to achieve with our sample is a bit of everything. We have lots of patches all evenly spread across Tasmania and that gives us an idea of what's happening across the whole state. And then we can just multiply up and get some idea of what's happening to the whole population. So something I'd particularly like you to understand is that we're not choosing where to survey according to likely places you're going to see an eagle. We're choosing places all across Tasmania and what we're asking people to do in the survey is to say whether or not they saw an eagle there. That's the most important thing. So what we'll end up with is a number of squares, survey squares, where people did see eagles and a number of survey squares where people didn't see eagles. And then we can multiply up across the whole of Tasmania and get some idea of numbers. And if we do this survey every year, then over time, obviously the numbers will fluctuate a bit from year to year, but over time we'll get that idea about whether the numbers are going up or down or staying the same, and whether our efforts to address these threats are working. So this is something that we can all be part of. We can go out, so me and Claire can go out, classes can go out, you can go out with your parents. We just all need to be out there looking for wedge-tailed eagles. These surveys are happening in May on two Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And you can do one day or you can do all six if you want. Remember, wedge-tailed eagles are really hard to spot. So the chances are you might not see one. But the important thing is you get out there, you have fun, you do the survey and you tell us what you see. Why would you why with me, James Pay? What is the most important thing that you're going to put in your pack on the survey day? Why is it the most important thing? Hmm, 